Quando sono solo sogno Lorenzo te mancan le parole Si lo so che non c'è luce in una stanza quando manca il sole Se non ci sei tu con me, con me su le finestre Mostrai tutti il mio cuore che hai acceso
Good morning. You may be seated. As president, I'd like to welcome you to the 110th commencement exercises of St. Petersburg College. Graduation is always a special occasion for our institution. This class of 2009 represents a diverse group of both two-year and four-year candidates, which we will learn more about shortly. Today, we'd like to celebrate all of you for your personal achievements and outstanding commitment to education. I'd like to ask that in just a moment you stand as the Reverend Terry Collier, the Network of Christian Counselors, offers the invocation. He's also been on the pastoral staff of Pasadena Presbyterian Church. Following the invocation, please join in the singing of our national anthem and the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance. The national anthem will be led by SPC voice student Linda Hines, who is the granddaughter of a recently passed away trustee and granddaughter of Andy Hines, who was a community leader for years. And Ann passed away uh, about 18 months ago, and it's uh, Linda is the granddaughter, and we're blessed to have her as a student and to be a, as a part of that great family that contributed so much to the college. Reverend Collier. Join me in prayer. Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, giver of life and the ability to think and learn. We come this morning to this place to pause and reflect upon the accomplishments of these graduates at St. Petersburg College. We pause to give you thanks, O oh Lord, for the people who have supported, encouraged, challenged, and sometimes gave us that little motivation that put us back on the right track. We are reminded this morning of the sleepless nights that we crammed to get those tests in, we're reminded of the bloodshot eyes trying to get that online post in on time. We're reminded this morning of the computer crashes, technical glitches, and all the human errors that make us ask ourselves if this is worth it. We stand here today on the mountain of accomplishment to celebrate the reward of tenacity and determination that tells us that, yes, it is worth it to pursue our dreams. We recognize the greatness of an institution that stands out in this world as an innovator in education and helping people to realize their dreams. Today we give you thanks for the faculty of this institution, the administrators, and every hand that is involved in making this day today a reality. To come from different cultures, faiths, and family structures, it gives us all an appreciation for the ability to stand here this morning and accept each other for who we are. And for this pilgrim of life, I stand here this morning and lift these words to you of praise and thanks in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and you may be seated. The graduation ceremony is a time for us to honor you, the graduates, as well as a time to honor those who've helped make this college the institution that it is. In an effort to provide more personal recognition of our graduates for their accomplishment, the college annually holds a student award ceremony where students are presented with their individual awards. Usually those are held during the month of April and most of the people that are recognized graduate in uh, May. Please stand if you, though, are here today having been recognized in one of those campus award ceremonies. Thank you. Today, each candidate will be afforded the opportunity to come across the stage to accept his or her diploma. In your program is a list of our platform guests. These people, including a few of your classmates, provide leadership to the college or contribute in other significant ways. Platform guests, would you please stand? At this moment, I would like to thank the Indian Rocks Baptist Church for the privilege of using their facility. When the city of St. Petersburg chose to uh, take down Bayfront Center, we lost the uh, arena where we could have one graduation. And then we went to Tropicana Field, and it is so big, and uh, it's a task to put on. And in the process, when we expanded to three graduations a year to rent Tropicana is a um, humongous task, a very expensive one. And also we learned that we did not have much pull against baseball teams that at the last minute were added when we were planning two and three years ahead. So we would plan for a ceremony, but the other teams uh, would bounce us and we would lose our place to rent the hall. So on behalf of the college, its board and administrative staff, and especially the students who are here for a ceremony, I want to thank the leadership. It is one of the few facilities in Pinellas County that is big enough to house such an event. It is my pleasure today to honor SPC graduates who've been enrolled in some of our specialized programs. Students, as your program is recognized, would you please stand and remain standing throughout this recognition. If you've been a participant in the honors program at the college or enrolled in the collegiate high school, or if you were homeschooled and or dual enrolled at the college, I'd like to first ask you to stand and be recognized for your hard work, persistence, and achievement. Thank you, and please remain standing. And if you've participated in interdisciplinary studies, student support services, connections, women on the way, or male outreach initiative, would you please stand so that we may salute you? Please remain standing. In addition, we're extremely proud of the students who've represented St. Petersburg College in a wide diversity of student activities. Please stand if you've participated in intercollegiate athletics or an art, dance, or musical group that represented the college. Please stand if you were a member of the Student Government Association or Student Ambassadors. This is a big one. Also stand if you were in Phi Theta Kappa, the college's two-year honorary society. <laughs> Kappa Delta Phi, 
sigma beta delta or sigma theta tau, the four-year honor society, or any other honorary organization at St. Petersburg College. Lastly, stand if you've been a member of any other student club organization, be it social, health-related, service-oriented, or special interest. You can see how active our students have been. Thank you, each and every one, and you may be seated. Now I'd like to especially recognize those with academic honors. All degree-seeking students who earn a 3.5 grade point average receive the honor of cum laude. 3.7 GPA earns magna cum laude and 3.9 assuma cum laude. If you've achieved this high standing in your academics here at the college, would you please stand and remain standing so that we may applaud you. Students graduating with associate degrees who achieve a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.3 receive the distinction of graduation with honors. Would this group please stand and remain standing? All students who earn a 3.3 grade point average or better while enrolled full time during a term at SPC are included on the president's list and receive a letter of congratulations for their achievement. About 3,000 letters are sent each year. If you were a part of this group and are not already standing, would you please stand? I'm getting the feeling that the B students aren't coming to graduation, only the A students are coming. <laughs> And finally, please stand if you received a scholarship to attend St. Petersburg College or if you've been granted a scholarship to attend another college based upon your achievement in leadership at St. Pete College. Thank you. You may be seated. This college is certainly proud of all of you. Each year, the St. Petersburg College Alumni Association presents the Outstanding Alumnus Award to honor alumni who represent the college through exemplary use of the education received. At our recent spring commencement, this award was announced, although she was unable to be present. Today, Ms. Jean Welch, president of the SPC Alumni Association, is proud to announce and present the award winner, Ms. Welch. Thank you, Dr. Cutler. Good morning. The Alumni Association honors alumni who, through their life's work and actions, bring distinction and honor to our college. Today, we honor a distinguished alum who is no stranger to excellence in education. This is not the first time Dr. McGee has been honored at St. Petersburg College. In 1968, she became the first Clearwater campus graduate and female to receive the Apollo Award, the highest award currently bestowed upon a graduating student at SPC. Criteria for selection were leadership, student activity, scholastic excellence, and the potential for becoming an outstanding, outstanding alumnus of SPJC. The committee definitely got her selection right as we stand here to honor her again today in this capacity. Dr. Ann McGee grew up in Largo and after graduating from SPC in 1968, she received subsequent degrees from Florida State University and Nova Southeastern University. She currently serves as president of Seminole Community College, which is in the Orlando area. In addition, Dr. McGee serves on the American Association of Community Colleges President's Academic Executive Committee and is a member of many other educational and civic organizations. In 2006, she was named the most outstanding community college president in the nation by the American Association of Com Community Colleges. This is the same award President Cutler received in 1998. Dr. McGee, it is my pleasure to welcome you back to St. Petersburg College, your alma mater, and to honor you today with this 2009 Outstanding Alumnus Award.
They said that I got to make a couple of comments, and you know college presidents love to talk, and we love graduation, so I'll be short. But I want to tell you that I'm truly honored to be here today, but that today very nearly did not happen. Many years ago when I was sitting in your seat, before I started at St. Petersburg Junior College then, I was a student at Largo High School and intent on going to Duke University. High school counselor wanted me to go there. I had the grades. And I remember my father saying to me, sweetheart, there's two reasons you're not going to Duke. One, you're only 16. You're way too young to go away from home. And two, there's no money. And you were going to go to St. Petersburg Junior College at that time to the Clearwater campus. I remember I was there for three weeks, and I got in my father's car, and I drove across the Campbell Courtney Causeway. You know, we all have those defining moments in our lives. And I stopped along the side of the road, and I got out of the car, and I remember looking at the water and saying, this isn't my car, it's my father's car. 1961 Dodge Comet. You, know, you remember those things? And if I don't go back, I don't have a future. And I remember getting into the car and driving back to the Clearwater campus and walking into the dean of students' office, who at that time was Gene Bittner, and shaking his hand and saying, Hi, I'm Ann McGee, and I want to get involved in student activities. Because I knew if I connected to the college, I would stay. Well, at the time, Gene seemed like he was 88 years old to me. He was 38. I've tracked it back. And between Dean Bittner and Dean Vilma Zalewski and Dr. Phil Fredrickson and your own president, Dr. Carl Cutler, for you see, when I was 18, I worked for the college, and my first day, I was Dr. Cutler's secretary when he was acting president with my knees shaking when I came into his office. But I tell you this because I'm standing before you because of the great faculty and staff at St. Petersburg College. They made all the difference plus great family support. And my family's here today, even as they were sitting in the audience many years ago when I was sitting in your seats. So my challenge to you is to find your passion and do the greatest good that you can. We need you more than ever. Thank you. And as a fellow president in our system, I want to thank you not so much for all the wisdom you've given us, but the fact that on at least one occasion in these many years, you stepped aside and let us have a few extra dollars. And uh, that is greatly, uh, greatly appreciated. Somehow or another, the Orlando area carries a lot of political weight, so occasionally we ask for crumbs at the table. Among our platform guests, we have two of your fellow classmates, Dawn White as part of an inaugural class of candidates today, receiving their Bachelor of Applied Science degree in the field of management and organizational leadership through our College of Technology and Management. She's been chosen to share her experience with you as a part of this baccalaureate class. Dawn. Good morning. Members of the Board of Trustees, President Cutler, Dean Goyle, faculty, graduating students, friends and family, I am truly humbled to have the honor of addressing you today. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to extend our extreme appreciation for your support, encouragement and guidance. We couldn't have done this without you. When I was told that I would be speaking today, I immediately thought about what had motivated me to take this journey. Although I had had a successful business career, my lack of education was hindering me from personal and professional growth. I had hit a roadblock, and I had to find my way around it. Those who know me know that I am tenacious, driven, and a firm believer that problems often present opportunities. To quote, quote Ralph Blum, nothing is predestined. Obstacles of your past can become gateways that lead to new beginnings. As a single mother, the option of going to school seemed out of reach until my son was a teenager. So five years ago, I decided I needed to make the time to go to college. My son has been incredible. He's been supportive, understanding, and has made many conscious efforts 
and sacrifices to help me achieve my goals. Alex, I promise you, pizza and noodles are not their own food groups. <laughs> You're my inspiration, I thank you, and I love you. Although I had registered at SPC with the intentions of only seeking an associate's degree, I quickly found that I enjoyed learning. Two years later, I earned an associate degree, two associate's degrees, and again was enrolled at SPC in pursuit of my bachelor's degree in management and organizational leadership. College has given me more than scholastic edification. It has proffered me confidence, presented opportunities, and demonstrated the value of learning, determination, and hard work. Today, I'm a successful entrepreneur, graduating with a bachelor's degree, and very optimistic about my future. I think Vince Lombardi said it best when he stated, if you believe in yourself and have the courage, determination, dedication, and competitive drive, and if you're willing to sacrifice the little things in life and pay the price for the things that are worthwhile, it can be done, whatever it happens to be. Graduating students, I charge you to continue to enrich your lives. Even if this concludes your formal education, never stop learning. Be open to new ideas, continue to grow, and embrace change. By doing so, you can transform problems into opportunities and find occasions to challenge yourself. Share your wisdom and experiences. Seek potential in others and offer words of encouragement and guidance. Honor those who helped us reach our potential because now it's our turn to pay it forward. Most importantly, remember, we are not just another graduating class. We are the new leaders and mentors of our community. Graduates, know that what you have accomplished is a testament to your boundless capabilities. You should all be very, very proud of yourselves. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Best wishes for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Don. In addition, we have Jennifer Renner, who is from our Honors College and is receiving her Associate in Arts degree today. She's also graciously agreed to address this graduating class. First of all, congratulations to all of you on your accomplishments today. It is truly an honor to be here graduating with you. My experience at St. Petersburg College begins and ends with two very distinct emotions, both excitement and fear. Fear because most of us are leaving our comfort zones today to transfer to another university or to explore a new career. I'm receiving my AA degree today, and I've been accepted to University of South Florida to receive my bachelor's in biology and ultimately my doctorate in veterinary medicine. However, just a few days ago, I received some very exciting news when Dr. Kathleen Griffin told me that St. Petersburg College is going to be offering a bachelor's in biology beginning in January, which I wholeheartedly plan to enroll in. I still remember the day I stepped onto the Clearwater campus to take my placement test with those two emotions, fear and excitement, at the forefront of my mind since I had been out of school for over 10 years and I had three young children to care for. However, I was pleasantly surprised when I tested into college-level math and I was accepted into the Honors Interdisciplinary Studies Program. If you're unfamiliar with IDS, it consists of three nine-credit courses, intermingling composition, Western civilization, humanities, world literature, government, speech, and ethics. And within that program, I developed a passion for art, religion, philosophy, and literature. And I owe it all to my three amazing professors, Dr. Joseph Fenley, Professor Linda Yagel, and Dr. Barbara Bird, who motivated, inspired, and challenged me to exceed even my own expectations. At the close of that program, I received the Outstanding Student Award, and I was published in Who's Who Among Students in American Junior Colleges. Also near the end of IDS, I was introduced to another mentor, Dr. Nadia Yevstignieva, who is Assistant Director of the Honors Program, Honors College Program. She encouraged me to participate in fundraisers, conferences, as well as volunteerism. And due to her support, I was able to present my IDS capstone research project at the first SPC Honors Conference, which led to the state level in Tampa. And finally, a small group of students and I traveled to Alabama to represent our school at the regional level, which was truly an honor. 
This past year, I also had the opportunity to act as an officer in the Honors College Consortium. We were able to organize several successful fundraisers and orchestrate the entire regional Honors Conference, which SPC hosted in St. Petersburg this year. And in April, I was able to exercise another passion of mine on the Clearwater campus when I orchestrated the planting of two native plant gardens outside of the Language Arts Building on the Clearwater campus. While students and I planted, we also distributed information about the importance of native plants since they require much less water and they also attract and sustain much of our local wildlife as well. Those gardens are thriving and they offer a lasting legacy to our chapter here at SPC. But just like many of you, I wouldn't be able to be here today if it wasn't for the support of my family, friends, and mentors. I'd like to personally thank my mother and father. I carry their strength with me here today since they were in my shoes a few years ago when they received their associate's degrees at the age of 50, forced to switch careers after almost 30 years. And my mother and father-in-law for spending countless hours with my children while I attended class and my husband for his dedication to our family and to my personal success. And of course, the daunting task of putting up with me on a daily basis during this experience. And of course, my three girls. They're the true reason I'm here, and I hope to inspire them as they have inspired me. Now please, let's all take a moment to show our gratitude to those who have supported us in this endeavor and mean so much to us. St. Petersburg College encourage us, encourages us to know no limits, and I believe that can be easily visualized in each and every one of us today. Congratulations again, and good luck on the next stage of your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you both for taking the time to share your SPC experience with those in attendance. Congratulations on your accomplishments both. As a side note, this class of 2009 also includes our first candidates for Bachelor of Applied Science and Health Services Administration, which is through the College of Health Sciences. Congratulations to you all as well. At this time, our college registrar, Pat Renard, will present each group of candidates by their degree. Beginning with our baccalaureate class, members of the administration will announce the graduates when they come up. On the platform, our Board of Trustees will present the diplomas. Mr. Renard, please present the candidates for Bachelors of Applied Science in the fields of Banking, Dental Hygiene, Health Services Administration, International Business, Management and Organizational Leadership, Orthotics and Prosthetics, Paralegal Studies, Public Safety Administration, Technology Management, and Veterinary Technology. Whew. Well, the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Applied Science in the fields of Banking, Dental Hygiene, Health Services, Health Services Administration, International Business Management, uh, Management and Organizational Leadership, Orthotics and Prosthetics, Paralegal Studies, Public Safety Administration, Technology Management and Veterinary Technology, please stand. <laughs> President Cutler, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of the degree of Bachelor of Applied Science. I hereby recommend them to you for the conferring of that degree. By the power vested in me by the Sovereign State of Florida and the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, I do hereby confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Applied Science with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, you may be seated. Mr. Renard, please present the candidates for Bachelor of Science in Education, including graduates of the Educator Preparation Institute and the candidates for Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Well, the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Education, including graduates of the Educator Preparation Institute and candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, please stand.
President Cutler, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of the degree of Bachelor of Science. I hereby recommend them to you for the conferring of that degree. By the power vested in me in the sovereign state of Florida, the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, I do hereby confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Science with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, you may be seated. Mr. Renard, please present the Associate in Arts candidates. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts please stand? President Cutler, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of the degree of Associate in Arts. I hereby recommend them to you for the conferring of that degree. By the power vested in me by the sovereign state of Florida and the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, I do hereby confer upon you the degree of Associate in Arts with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, you may be seated. Mr. Renard, please present the Associate in Science and the Associate in Applied Science candidates. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate in Science and Associate in Applied Science please stand? President Cutler, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of the degrees of Associate in Science and Associate in Applied Science. I hereby recommend them, recommend them to you for the conferring of those degrees. By the power vested in me by the sovereign state of Florida and the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, I do hereby confer upon you the degrees Associate in Science, the Associate in Applied Science with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, you may be seated. Mr. Renard, please present the Applied Technology Diploma and Certificate candidates. Will the candidates for the Applied Technology Diploma and Certificates please stand? President Cutler, the candidates standing before you have presented their credentials for the awarding of the Applied Technology Diploma and Certificates. I hereby recommend them to you for the conferring of those diplomas and certificates. By the power vested in me by the Sovereign State of Florida and the Board of Trustees of St. Petersburg College, I do hereby confer upon you the Applied Technology Diploma and appropriate certificates with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Please change your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, you may be seated. Graduates, the marshals will now guide you by road to receive your diploma, beginning with our baccalaureate students. I'd like to ask that during this presentation, the guests keep the aisles free where the students are returning to their seats. Years ago, we would ask people to please remain solemn during this time, and we know that no one could pay attention to that, so <laughs> they've brought trumpets, they've brought uh, uh, Halloween noisemakers, and their loud voices, so I tell you to celebrate and forget the old rules. Thank you.
First graduate from the College of Education, Christina Lynn Day. From the College of Health Sciences, Patricia A. Ajami. Rachel Lori Similian. Veronica Nicole Callahan. Adela E. Mills Lopez. Sandra S. Rosenberg. Jana M. Perico. Melinda Kohler. Alwyn J. Leiba. Ron Winston. Graduates from the College of Nursing, Ronald Arthur Delavelle. Audrey Louise Testa. Nikaya Norton. Danielle L. Brown. Tracy Renee Pummel. Jessica C. Reimza. Nikki M. Steelman. Barbara Jean Mason. Melinda D. Kreisman. Castella Selena McKinley Grant. Vertrice Stevens. Sharon Blue. Linda Marie Dunn. Ingrid Gisela Bope. Dawn Marie Addison. Sandra L. Coyne. Diane J. Robinson. <laughs> Kelly Marie Russell. <laughs> Rebecca J. Heiser. <laughs> David E. Deering. <laughs> Jennifer Whitney Mirabella. Dorothy Lovina Ebanks. Asia Monique Clark. Nicole M. Flusk. Kathy A. Walter. Anonglak Vong Pratchett. From the School of Paralegal Studies, Kit E. Galgano, Amanda Catherine Sears, <laughs> Linda C. Wechter, Michelle Karatsis. Christy A. Klinert, from the College of Public Safety Administration, Andy Lyford, 
Jason A. Leonard. Robert J. Markford. In the College of, Te College of Technology and Management, William A. Rays. Joy Monique Lumpkin. Jennifer Lee Fort. Matthew R. Berenger. Okay. Renit Noel Levi. Don Renee White. Sharice M. Chambers. Jessica, Jessica Tupac Amado. Doreen Suzanne Klutz. Joshua Michael McCall. Edward Barker Mills. Frank E. Holmes. Nick Caramosos. Irvin Susi. Christy Japa? Payu. Christy Payu. Natala Soto. Sharon D. La Sierra. <laughs> Eleni Polikias. Kelly, Kelly Ellie Faisanis, Venado Robert Bell, Jose Rojena. Yasina Quach. Madeline Teresa March. Lisa Ann Cadotti. Melanie Sky Burness. Jalina Kalisara. Danielle Gamble. Richard Sapkowski. Drew Marowski, Patricia M. Gaskin, Michelle R. Miador, Laura L. Claxton, Jennifer Rose Renner. Megan A. Smith. <laughs> Cynthia A. McDonald. Carson Elliott Credit. Robin M. Day.
Joy Nicole Corey. Kanitra Shana Till. Barbara A. Therian. Laura M. Conrad. Stephanie L. Bozeman Harris. Tim Kurish. Danielle Nicole Tobler. Christina A. Seibold. Melody Ann Royston. Godfrey A. King. Jonathan Michael Phillips. Philip Madison Buxton. Amelia I. Sanabria. Ross W. Erickson. John Nicole. Aaron Francis Garrett. Jeffrey B. Walton. Sindel Lartiga. Amanda L. Brock. Amanda Marie Keshan. Catherine J. Knapp. Candace T. Remlachin. Jennifer Marie Praval. Swang King Hyun. Tamenka? Tamenka Nichelle McIntyre. Christopher Grimal. Alita Marie D'Angelo. Alita Marie D'Angelo. Velber? June E. Velber. Paul Eric Ivy. James A. Singer. Virgin Julian. Virgin Julian Georges. Jessica Lynn Daly. Lindsay Charlene Moore. Thomas Castro Alfonso. Ruth A. Murphy. Brandon Evan Reinbolt. Silvana Lourdes Murrow. Andres N. Morrow. Season? Season Ashley Wells. Morton D. Myers. F.T. M. Kabir. D.C. L. Beverly. Jennifer A. Argue. Sanita Nichelle Robinson. Christy Love Richard. Brooke Nicole Dressler. Gregory Guy Wilson. Jessica Marie Jones. Stephanie C. Purdy. Marcella? 
Claudia Marcella Vivius Ocampo. Melissa Margaret Fisher. Heidi L. Ash. Diana Lynn Scott. Elizabeth Annette Crow. Michelle Marie Andres. Alexa Nicole Scott. Sandy L. Jensen, Jr. Amy Beth Cochran. Linda A. Morgan. Kelly Ann Shirley. Gavin Hayato Nakamoto. Brittany Lee Anderson. Frankie Vincent Ardito. Ashley LaShawn Gray. William F. Donahue. Ginger R. Stilton. Alana Charlene Denz. Jill M. Trumbull. David G. Gardner. Nancy Lee Oxshore. Michelle R. Ammons. Christina Danielle Pratt. Kimberly Claire Pazinski. Cindy K. Cubes. Kayla R. Ballant. Ashley Marie Berry. Angela M. Gunter. Tammy Ann Poswatowski. Dana M. Panic. Samantha Fenwick. Ryan Martin. Valerie May Lockhart. Vernitha Lee Walters. Brittany M. Bledsoe. Kristen Izetta Patterson. Sylvia R. Walton. Lori B. Rushing. Cody Brandon Housley. Colleen E. Muma. Delina Jean Kopka. Wendelin Smith Brewer. Christine M. Ashcroft. Amy C. Shaw. Deborah Patricia Coleman. Lorianne M. Lund. Melissa Swenton. Matthew James Lewis. Georgia Antropopoulos. Isabel Carlotta Portillo Boyer. William L. McAuliffe.
Stanislava Zaskorava Craig. For you, Mama. Deborah L. Warner. Anthony A. Sylvester. Danielle R. Jerome Kimbrell. Monica Renee Gervais. Ekaterina Laura Sorokas. Deanna Mary Baltimore. Utah Ha. Cheryl L. Bronson. Ralph E. Leith. Marianne Melquist. Matthew Lynn Russell. Jeremy Stephen Brunner. Brandy A. Dillon. Aaron Diane Emnett. Martin E. Butler III. Nestor German Cabrillo. Joanna Khalil Merhi. Christopher Mark Mears. Julie Kanyuk. Rosemary Massino. Lauren Ashley Sagristano. Mabelyn Quesada. Elaine Dolores Austin. Jennifer Cassandra Ford. Andrea Ann Wislotsky. Jessica Nicole Sasser. Amanda Marie Diarmas. Lisa Ray Heim. Sissy A. Yee. Rachel Brooke Gelb. Philip Ray Stringfellow. Lionel J. Jean Felix. Erica Andrea Chambliss. Maria Bedan. Julissa Rodriguez. Giselle A. Pena. Jennifer Renee McWilliams. Kimberly Lewis. Ashley N. Baytops. Talia Liana Vasquez. Blair W. Loveland. Linda Lee Stewart. Stephen David Wheeler. Amanda Elizabeth Chick. Bridget A. Lazaridis. Sarah Jane Lynch. 
Melody Smith. Valerie Mieko Moss. Michelle B. Zafudo. Melissa Marie Walter. Richard R. Turner. Koya Nicole Alexander. Caitlin M. McDonald. Michelle Vanessa Minotti. Michelle Joy Hooks. Nikita Jenkins. Sarah Lindsay Laferriere. Harold David Rioscos. Tabitha Ann Early. Joshua Chunin. Francis Nicole Portillo. Hasina Jahan Papa. Roseanne Wendy Marquis. Shanil McKella Kirkland. Jahara M. Kamara. Okay. Nikolai Velikov. Just for old time's sake, one more time, congratulations. <laughs> During the time these students have been a part of the SPC family, and you have the privilege of continuing that if you pay your dues to the Alumni Association. They will contact you, you won't have to contact them. The college enjoyed many accomplishments and received several honors and awards. You'll find many of these listed in your program. With 82 years of existence, these facts and many more attest to the excellence of our students and faculty. This college can truly say it is pleased to be a four-year college with the heart of a community college. To those of you in the audience who are the family and friends of these graduates, I know there have been times when you felt that none of your hard work and support of these graduates was appreciated or even noticed, even if it included paying the visa bills. But here you are, here they are, and these graduates did appreciate you and they did notice you, and the college appreciates you. Graduates, please stand and join me in saying thank you to your family and friends. Thank you, thank you. You may be seated. I mentioned a few minutes ago about while you were students here, the various honors, there's a few listed in the program. It just amazes me, uh, this institution's ability as a full organization from the board down through uh, those who work at the lowest pay scales and volunteers, how the community responds. 
Yesterday we had a worldwide event in our campus and we expect during this week to make a very, very histor incredible historic uh, announcement about taking the college still to another level. As I look back uh, this spring and the legislature was in session, we faced a committee that uh, could have been a bit hostile about the issue of state college and whether or not those degrees could be awarded local or whether they had to be authorized at the state level. And of the 28 institutions, this institution was given the privilege because of its track record of our board continuing to make at the local level the decision of whether or not those four-year degrees could be decided at a local level. It's been that way for a long time with the universities but there was a hesitancy to give it, and that's now been paved and it's in law that we and our board can pass those local laws. And I want to thank the legislature for their leadership in that. <laughs> Just to pause and give you one quick example, there was a major um, hospital administrator that came to me and said that statewide he had sought out nursing schools and he indicated that he needed a thousand nurses and the university responded and said if you will give us two million dollars we'll research if you need nurses he says you don't get it I need a thousand nurses and when he came to St. Petersburg College we said give us five hundred thousand and we'll give you two thousand nurses he says I like that and <laughs> And today, our nursing program has enrolled over a thousand students, one of the largest in the South. And as you, the guests of these graduates, sit here today, I'd like to ask those of you who are alumni of St. Petersburg College to stand, also St. Pete Junior College, to stand and be recognized. Thank you. And to our two-year graduates, I'd like to take a quick survey to see how many of you sought a two-year degree and have actually been at this college for longer than two years. <laughs> now wait just a minute, wait just a minute. This is not a test of IQ, it's a test of persistence. I believe at the last graduation we had one person that took 37 years to get their degree. Please stand if this applies to you, but wait just a minute. If you took longer than two years, would all of you in your blue gown stand? Now, continue standing if you've been here longer than three years, four years, five years, ten years. Now it really gets good. Fifteen years. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 75, no, uh, <laughs> 23, 24, 25, 26, 26? We got a tie for 26. And we're an hour ahead of schedule. It's only a few more moments here. And how many of our four-year graduates received a two-year degree from the college?
Congratulations. Thank you for your loyalty. Our latest research is showing that about 20 to 21 or 2 percent of those who are graduating with a two-year degree stay and pursue our four-year degrees. As time goes on, that will continue to grow. I want to say that uh, I want to pay tribute to uh, Gus Belarakis, who was a member of the House, who filed the bill for our four-year, to Senator Don Sullivan, who filed it in the Senate, and to Governor uh, Bush, who took the leadership against the entire weight of the university system, say it should never happen. But it was providential as 16 states and a number of foreign countries are following the model that we started here. And what is so exciting is the fact that the universities are now requiring such a high grade point average that a portion of our faculty, this president and a number of others that I know could never get into the Florida University system. And we believe that education is not limited to the top two or three or four percent. And there's a lot of students out there that can make it, and not only on grade point average, but just the cost, the university cost versus ours. And we still do not charge a student to park on campus. And as long as I'm here, you won't. One exception, downtown campus, because there is no parking. Let me add one more thought for the guests who are here to honor the graduates. I hope you will consider the role SPC can have in your life. At this college, opportunity is always beckoning. It changes by the hour to what we offer to make your life more enriched. Graduates, you've received and acquired a lot of knowledge and by and one of the best faculties in the world. Now the challenge is to apply it. It's called wisdom, and by doing so, you will more than likely experience success in your life. May each of you experience blessings without measure for you and your families. I want to thank the faculty of St. Pete College. They go the extra mile every day in contributing personally to the national standing and the reputation that the college enjoys. More importantly, our faculty and staff invest personally in our students lifting them up and taking time to help assure their success. This is SPC's culture, dedication, and the commitment to quality. But it's all wrapped around a caring spirit to lift you up when you need it and sustain you when you're there. SPC truly has been the best faculty and staff in America. Would any faculty and staff present in the audience please stand while we express thanks, and if you're already standing, would you raise your hand so we could identify you? This past May, our spring commencement, we recognized many of our retiring staff members for the 2008-09 academic year who are listed in your program. Today it is with mixed feelings that once again we pay tribute to them and a couple may be here today, although most appear at the May graduation. And I want to recognize those whose service for the college represents 672 years, represented by 28 retiring staff members. Though there are feelings of joy that they will be earning a time of rest, there are feelings of sadness that, that the college will experience their loss. I wish them all the best in their retirement, but they surely will be missed by our students and colleagues. Another group of people I would like to express our appreciation to are the members of our Board of Trustees. Uh, some are traveling. Uh, we have two today, Evelyn Belarakis and Ken Burke. Uh, would you stand and we'll express appreciation. And last, I'd like to express appreciation for the music today, which has been provided, as explained, by Ms. Linda Hines and Ms. Betsy Walsh. I also, also want to thank the many staff people who, through their countless hours of hard work, helped make this commencement event possible. Graduates, thank you for choosing this college. 
We were privileged to serve you. With most sincere appreciation, we pay tribute to your accomplishments. And now, congratulations, class of 2009. As we close out this ceremony, I've asked Linda to lead us in singing our alma mater. You'll find the words inside the back page of your program, and there will not be a fine if you don't sing. You may get a discount on a future course if you do. Please stand for the alma mater, followed by the benediction given by Reverend Collier. Let us pray. O oh Lord, history records that Moses went upon a mountain and beheld a bush that was on fire. Today we have climbed a mountain and we behold hearts that have been warmed by accomplishments on this mountaintop experience. And yet we realize that we can't stay here. You have prepared us to go into the valley places, into the trenches of this world in our community to make a difference. May the inspiration that we have experienced here today be the fuel that energizes us to go. With proud hearts, those who have helped each of these students to make it to where we are today, we give you thanks. And in closing, I pray your blessings upon the president of this college, the board of trustees, the president's cabinet, the senate cabinet, all of the administration, the faculty, the administrators, and every person who has a hand in making this college what it is. It has aided in bringing every one of you students to where you are, and we send you forth with thanksgiving and gratefulness. Amen. Graduates, as you prepare to exit the auditorium, there may be some faculty and staff in attendance who, though they were not required to attend, knew you would be here and wanted to celebrate with you. I'd like to ask those faculty and staff in attendance to make their way to the middle exit doors and line up to greet the graduates. And as a courtesy, I'd like to ask the guests, the families, please remain now in your seats. We have a big processional keeping the center aisle clear until the graduates have exited the auditorium. Then please exit all the way to the outside parking areas where everyone can freely join up with the graduates. Also, in addition, the amount of traffic that will be exiting at one time is formidable, and the church staff has asked that in exiting the parking lot, you follow the traffic officers who will be double-laning you to expedite the flow with police officers on the highway stopping traffic. So if you will do that, have a great day and also the beginning of the rest of your life. Thank you.